Brazilian social media is abuzz with rumors regarding the alleged sighting of 10-foot-tall aliens on one of the country's islands. The viral video captured by a hiker in Ilha do Mel shows two tall figures navigating the challenging hilly terrain at an unusually fast pace. The hiker who witnessed the creatures firsthand claimed they did not look human at all, and when she posted the video on social media, observers claimed it was an alien encounter. Are these 10-foot-tall aliens somehow related to the Miami Mall incident that happened around the same time? Let's pick out the facts from fiction. Ila Domel, also called Honey Island, is home to beautiful beaches you can visit all year round. With the best-preserved stretch of Atlantic forest in the country, the sand streets and paths on the island are perfect for long hikes. And this is why you will find several tourists on this beautiful island. But what you can never expect to see are 10-foot-tall aliens exploring the landscape. Or can you? A new video that has surfaced on the internet captures two giant, human-like creatures strolling along the foothills of the small Brazilian island. One of the 10-foot-tall creatures appears to be taking in the sights of Ila Domel as another stands closely behind. The two beings can be seen confidently standing on the top of the hill, with the shrubbery barely reaching their knees. According to locals, the cliff they're spotted on is very difficult to reach, which is a testament to their superhuman strength and agility. The pair can be seen swinging their arms in a weird manner, which at first glance might look human. But as you continue observing the figures, their arm movements are eerily restricted. According to media reports, a hiker, Sarah Dillette, was roaming in the foothills with her family on the Brazilian island when they spotted the two bizarre creatures over the hilltop. One person can be heard saying in the video, it's too big to be a person. And another answers, look at the way he moves. It's really weird. Look at the size of those pasts. It's very fast. For me, it's enough to see the speed with which this creature goes down the hill. Anyone who has done trails on hills like this knows that don't go down a hill like this in one to two minutes. Once the video was posted on social media, the internet blew up with speculation and conspiracy theories. The video gained even more traction because it surfaced around the same time as the alleged Miami Mall alien sighting. Observers couldn't help but wonder if the 10-foot-tall creature spotted walking amidst police cars outside a mall in Miami was somehow related to the 10-foot-tall being seen in Brazil. Alien sightings at Bayside Marketplace. On New Year's Day, there was a massive police response in downtown Miami. More than 50 young people armed with sticks began fighting. Police say juveniles were also setting off fireworks, causing chaos. So now people are posting online saying that police weren't there to handle a group of rowdy teens, but rather eight to 10 feet tall, shadowy aliens. Conspiracy theories are saying a big creature could be seen standing in front of the entrance to the shopping area, Bayside. While local police authorities debunked the Miami sighting, the Brazilian government decided to hop onto the alien bandwagon. They neither confirmed nor denied the origin of these exceptionally tall visitors. A spokesperson for the government of Piranha State playfully downplayed the incident, stating, Our summer is from another world. Even strange beings come here to enjoy our coastline. It looks like the Brazilian government is planning to use this sighting as an exciting bait for future tourists. Here's what the state government of Piranha wrote on X. Surreal, what happened on Ilha do Mel? Great summer at Piranha is another story and even stranger beings came to check it out. While the Brazilian government is enjoying all the attention, other ex-users were concerned about this alien encounter. Some compared it to the Miami Mall sighting, while others claimed they looked more like Nephilim than aliens. Basketball star Felipe Mata also weighed in by saying he was the 10-foot alien in the footage caught on the hiker's camera. The Italian-Brazilian player apparently filmed himself enjoying the hiking trail exactly where the footage was taken, while someone on the other side of the cliff made a video of him and sent it to a gossip site. If it really is the basketball player, then who is the person with him, with almost the same height and build as him? Also, why is he moving his arms in such a weird fashion in the footage? Those are questions only Mata can answer. While a lot of mystery and conjecture surrounds this sighting, many people remain unconvinced about its extraterrestrial link, including UFO expert Nick Pope. He told a reporter, This story, and the reaction to it, is truly bizarre. There's no credible evidence that anything UFO or alien-related happened, or that this was anything other than the police responding to reports of youths fighting. Viewers who don't believe in this alien encounter were also seen complaining that footage of alleged alien sightings is always blurry, 
making it almost impossible to separate the truth from fiction. That's a great point. Why is it that after so many years of alien and UFO encounters, we still don't have a clear video or picture to prove extraterrestrial presence on Earth? UFOs might be enjoying a moment right now in Brazil, but they've been a part of their culture for a long time. Just like the Roswell incident shook the public in the U.S., what happened in Varginha in 1996 in Brazil had a similar effect on its people. The story slightly mirrors the conditions at Roswell, New Mexico, where residents reported witnessing a crashed alien spacecraft with pilots still inside. While the U.S. government came clean about the experimental balloon they were testing and the shady cover-up that ensued in the following decade, there's still no explanation for what happened in Varginha. In 1996, multiple witnesses reported seeing a bipedal creature which didn't look human. Observers described it as unsteady on its feet as if it was sick or injured, with two large red eyes. Others reported seeing a bizarre metal object slowly losing altitude over the area before crashing into the ground. They also mentioned a strong, almost nauseating smell of sulfur from the site. Some observers described the creature as having brown, oily skin, no hair, and a distinct look of fear in its eyes. A police officer, Marco Eli Charez, allegedly apprehended one of these creatures barehanded. Unfortunately, he later fell ill with a mysterious full-body infection and died. When filmmaker James Fox released the documentary Moment of Contact, based on the alleged events that happened barely three decades ago in Brazil, his key witness was an anonymous military expert called Military X. This man, Military X, claimed he was there when one of the aliens was captured. There was even video evidence of the extraterrestrial. However, that video never surfaced so we can't be sure if the mystery man was telling the truth or not. The documentary featured witnesses who claimed that everything recovered, including cash, debris, and occupants, was taken by the U.S. government. The Brazilian government did not offer any explanation for that bizarre event, leaving it open for debate for years to come. Did an alien spaceship crash in Brazil in 1996? Did the U.S. government recover the craft and its occupants? No one knows. But seeing the Brazilian government's reaction to the recent sighting is interesting. There has been a notable increase in UFO and alien sightings around the world in the last few years, from a 13-minute long video of an unidentified flying object captured in the skies of Islamabad, Pakistan, to the three disc-shaped objects filmed in Melbourne, Australia. It seems like the UFO phenomenon is really taking the world by storm. Do you think the extraterrestrials are getting ready for an ultimate introduction? Is there a chance we might finally learn the truth about whether there is intelligent life out there in the universe? Let us know your thoughts on recent UFO and alien sightings and whether you believe the alien encounter in Illa Domel. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more videos.